Is that how you're comfortable? That looks more comfortable to me. So how long have you been running around like a horse? Mm, since I was really little. And what makes you want to do that? I think it's different and I can do something not many people can, so. I like to do it around the house and then uh, eventually I got really fast at it. So how often do you practice? A lot every day. I run around the house as it, doing it all the time, so. Do you do it in public? No, no. only in school. <laughs> <laughs> so why, why do you want to jump around or gallop around like a horse? Why not a cat, something that just lays around? I don't really like cats. You don't much. like? But I like big cats and all that, so. You like big cats? I mean, when I was little, like, there was this little old ladies, old ladies used to come up to me and touch my hair, and I used to roar at them, and they used to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> and Mum would walk off giggling. <laughs> Can we hear it? Ooh. <laughs> That's fantastic. Ooh. I can do a dog. Should I do my dog? Mm. I can do a baby. <laughs> can you do any other animal noises? I can do a horse. Let's hear it. <laughs> I can do a zebra. What does a zebra sound like? Is that the noise a zebra makes? If you look it up, yeah, it actually, that's the noise a zebra makes. So, so when did you start learning to do animal noises? Um, maybe a year after I learnt to gallop. And yeah, mum's, mum's here. Hello, mum. How are you? And mum, were you worried when, uh, when your daughter started, uh, instead of going from crawling to walking, that she went from crawling to galloping? It was a bit quirky, yeah. <laughs> she wanted to be Simba from The Lion King, so... And she went through a stage where we all had to call her Simba and she'd roar at us and, you know, she'd get up on anything and that would be her pride rock and... Um, she was normal up until The Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever thought about competing? Have you gone online to see if there's a community of people um, that gallop? Well, there's this man and he does it and he has a record for doing it over 100 metres and I want to, there's a, apparently, there's a women's category and I want to try and get into the record, record of doing the women's. Do you gallop to school? No, I take the car, mum drives me most yeah. of the time and then sometimes I walk. But then, yeah, when I'm playing with my friends, I sort of teach them how to do it as well. Do you think I could do it? Probably not with them shoes on, no. no. Or that suit, because it'll be too tight. <laughs> Do you think it looks too tight already? I didn't really want to say. Well, mate, thank you so much for coming on the show. And I've got a little something here for you because, in my eyes, you're a prize winning galloper and also a sweetheart at heart, mate. Here you are. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Nikita. <laughs> She's about to attempt our little big shot grand national. And she's off. Nice gallop down the straight there. Please the brush and the rail. There aren't too many people in the world that can do this. It's an elite skill. Look at that stride. Oh, great jumping. Looks like a clear round. And through the hoop. Welcome to the Little Big Shots YouTube channel. This is where you'll find some of the most talented children in the world. There are new videos every week, plus bonus bits of Little Big Shots not seen anywhere else. Just click on the links right now, and why not subscribe? Go on.